You know, there's a moment um, before the decision is made where I believe Dave has been offered the time slot after Leno and told that Leno is uh, only going to be on in that spot for a year and then you'll get it. I believe that was the deal offered, but Bill Carter could correct me if I'm wrong. And the decision Dave was making, take that deal with NBC and stay on or go to CBS, right? And there was a period of time, I remember, where Dave was just radio silent to everybody, including us. No, nobody knew what he was going to decide. And we had an office, a writer's room office, uh, not directly across from Dave, but maybe one office down from Dave. He was on the corner, and then you walked a few feet, and then we had a conference room right there. And frequently at night, you would find us all in there trying to come up with an idea for the next day's show, right? <laughs> Under a lot of pressure, but having fun and, you know, fooling around. And Steve O'Donnell or uh, Rob Burnett, the head writer, would we'd pitch him ideas. He'd go in. He'd come back exasperated. No, Dave's upset. Or this. Yes, that's good. We're going to do this. <laughs> so, um either Steve or Rob went in there to pitch Dave and um, uh, Tom Brokaw just suddenly walks into the room and he goes, uh, hey, uh, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> like, Hey, Tom Brokaw, he walks into our room. What are you doing? He goes, Oh, I was just back from, uh, I do a terrible Brokaw. I don't have, it's a not awful. Back from, yeah. I'm back from, I just got back from Africa. There was some conflict going on in Africa and he's like, uh, you know, we landed I, we were like, how did you get there? I mean, there's a war going on. It's like, well, we, we landed here on this part of the country. We drove for a day. Then we took another, like a little puddle jumper here over this river. And then we landed in the middle of nowhere in this village. And it was dark. So we decided to just walk into this, this group of villagers. We didn't know if they were hostile or not. And just ask them if we could just spend the night uh, in their tents. And they luckily didn't try to kill us. And said it was okay. Well, they didn't really speak English except for the chief. And so I went into the, the tent with the chief and sat down with him. And I said, I'm Tom Brokaw. I'm a newsman from uh, NBC. And the chief nodded his head and he said, so is Dave leaving NBC or is he staying? Is he going to go to CBS? <laughs> That's how big the story was. That's a true story. That's amazing. According I, to I have no idea where you were going to go with that. Wow. That's yeah, he said he wasn't joking. He wasn't telling us a joke. That's how big the story was, and that's how far and deeply it had saturated. And, you know, I've lived through a couple moments like that. The end of Seinfeld was like that, too, where the saturation point in culture was almost 100%. And that's how big that was. So, you know, we didn't know what was going on. And a short time later, maybe a week or two later, I was in... Um, my one of the fellow writers, uh, Donick, my buddy Donick's office. I don't know what we were doing. We were hanging there late and Warren Littlefield walked in. Nobody else was in the office. Dave was down in his office. Pre president and, of NBC uh, at the time for anybody. Else. President of NBC, Warren Littlefield, who is a terrific guy. I got to know him after and got to know him on Seinfeld and really liked him at the time. Oh, of course. I thought, yeah, he, of was, course. I thought he was the devil at the time because he didn't give <laughs> Dave what he wanted. And, and Dave earned that spot and i was upset about it as we all were um and david already made the decision to go to cbs and i remember warren littlefield going around the corner and and uh donick and i had some harsh words for him we leaned out and then went oh oh shit did we just tell the president of nbc to go fuck himself <laughs> but i i think we did um and that was the end of it. I, 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 I'm not sure what happened in that meeting because the decision had already been made, but maybe Bill Carter knows. But after that, you know, it was just this walk across the street to this whole new operation at the Ed Sullivan Theater. And, but so you know, squeaky it, clean and new. Everything was brand was, new for you guys. Yeah, it was different. It was a different vibe. Dave owned yeah. the whole thing. And, you know, he, we didn't have NBC to kind of... We really liked being picked on by NBC and General Electric. It gave us something to talk about and write about. And me in particular, I loved it. I thought it was great. And when we were going doing this other thing with a friendly network, that was okay too. It just wasn't as fun, right? <laughs> like I yeah. really, at the time, was a very rebellious personality and to have something to, up to fight against, I loved it. It kind of tapped into this, you know, the anger that kind of drove my comedy and it was fun. Um, and CBS was fun in its own way. It just was not, it just was not, it never the same for me.